Okay, right. Okay, great. So a couple of graphs to look at next. But we're just reading graphs, reading these next set of questions. And let's just watch them carefully. Um, so let's see. So the first question here is, um, at what level is the break-even point? Well, at break-even, total costs are equal to total income. So we're looking for where C and D meet. And if you look carefully, you will see that C and D meet here. This is the point where C and D actually meet. So that, if you like, is at 50 units. So your answer there is D. Right? That's the that's the key point, isn't it? Because there's no profit at this point. Where So profit is equal to zero at that point, And that's where total costs are equal to total revenue. Let's look at this one. So this one is telling us the following chart shows a break even at, at 2,000. We can see that that's the point over there with total revenue of 20,000 as is cost. What is the profit at 4,000 units? Well, at 4,000 units, fixed costs are 10,000. Variable costs are 20,000. And income is 40,000. So I guess I could have just used this one, 40 minus 30. But the key point is that my profit is 10. Yes, so the answer is D. The answer is D. That's my profit. So just watching it carefully. I don't think it's anything um, unusual. And then here, a profit volume chart pretty much puts profit here and looks at what's going on with, with output. So you can see what is the increase in profit from 6,000 units. So it's 6,000, profit is 10,000. To 8,000, profit is 20,000. So pretty obvious, the answer is 10,000. You've gone from 10 to 20, so your profit is 10,000. That's what's going on. Um, so, and I believe the last one in that group of questions is to do with, it asks the question, what is at what level is the break-even point? And the break-even point, profit is always zero. So whatever's hitting the curve, and if you look there carefully, that hits at the 2,005, 2,500. And that's where we have the break-even point. Cool, great stuff. Yes, I think we'll, we'll sort of curve it, and then we'll do the next set of videos as we move into a different, somewhat not different topic per se, but if you like, we've just looked at some graphs, so we'll look at something else.